Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World and welcome to my let's play of Cold Waters. Cold Waters is a submarine game that just came out and it's kind of a simulation game although it's more arcadey than for example Silent Hunter 5 which is not necessarily a bad thing because uh, Silent Hunter 5 especially with mods can of course go very very deep and also very overwhelming. So I have just done the training missions and um, yeah there is a lot of stuff going on so I probably will forget about a lot of stuff but hopefully throughout the game we'll get back into things um, so the game is more Cold War era so the, the equipment is a little bit more advanced than the Second World War uh, submarines were but let's start a single mission uh, the duel after several uneventful days sonar reports a lone contact so we basically just fight one submarine that sounds like a good start. So we start off as a narwhal, which has some torpedoes, some decoys, some missiles, and um, basically that's it. We have some sonar. We've also got ESM, which I think is mostly to uh, see other, basically to detect other people's radar. So whether like airplanes and stuff are coming. Um, so in service since 1967, this class formed the backbone of US attack submarines during the Cold War until the mid 80s. Stealthy, maneuverable and with an excellent sonar suite. These boats can match up to any but the very latest Soviet boats. Their only drawback is their comparatively low speed. Sounds good. So we are assigned to this ship. And we start at this depth. Uh, it's overcast with a light breeze there's a weak surface duct so this has to do with the sound physics so how sound transfers in uh, the ocean um, so if we we can start now so that's something I definitely have to dig a bit deeper into um, like if I press shift F1 you can see here I think yeah here you can kind of see how acoustics affect everything which is pretty cool um, oh, here's two targets. Ooh, three targets, actually. So here we already have a firing solution. So I'm already going to fire one. So basically, that's a target that we have enough information on. So if I click on this one, we only know 40% sure what it actually is. So if we go for signature, I think we can filter out this. Yeah, so the sonar, we can aim at something. And then we basically have to overlay the signals that we are getting. So this could be it, potentially. But no, it doesn't completely line up, so it probably isn't. This here might be, though. So it's probably a Delta 3 SSBN. So if I press Enter, you'll see that, oop, now this one has been identified as a Delta 3. So we're a little bit more sure what it actually is. So the same if we click on this one here, the blue whale. Is that a blue whale? Is that a thing in here? Yes, here we go. Yes, it is a blue whale. Fair enough. And this one here is... Um, probably this one. Humpback Bio. So our missile is still going there. Or our torpedo. So I must say I'm still a bit unsure on how to basically do everything. So we've got all these torpedoes. We can set whether they want to use active sonar or passive sonar once they are activated. So at some point, once they're at the end of their route, which is here, they'll start getting activated. Now I can still change this. So then they'll, they'll switch. Because now I'm not so sure anymore where this guy is going. So I guess he kind of switched where he was going or something like that. So now... Yeah, at first we had a perfect firing solution, but then he started moving, I guess. So let us increase our speed a little bit, which will of course also mean that they can hear us easier. I'm not sure what this yellow thing means. I think it means active sonar, but I didn't activate my active sonar. So then I should also see a thing here. But yeah, so here now you can see a big noise signal and that's because we are going pretty fast. Con, fire control, wire break. So our torpedo has gotten the wire breaks, so it actually is not controllable anymore. Um, it's weapons here, 
at some point they might lose their wire to cut the wire which you can do um here it says a wire break on launch which is unavoidable and a wire which will automatically be cut that doesn't actually say what it does but i think basically then you can't really edit the waypoints and stuff anymore it might still use its guidance though we can actually see the torpedo here but if we click on this one we cannot oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm shooting a torpedo at a humpback whale. That's what the bio goes for. I was already confused by the name. <laughs> so it's been confusing us. Um, cool. Uh, are we going to hit it? That would be... Nah. The torpedo, the wire breakage has taken its toll. Unless, look at that. Whoops, sorry, I accidentally pressed my recording button. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I blew up a humpback whale. Well, that is a fantastic start. Um, luckily, <laughs> its uh, husband or wife is still alive. Um, that's a little bit sad. That, oh, and this is a blue whale then. So that must also be... No wonder, I was already confused. Why are there so many targets on while they said there would only be two, uh, one. Okay, fair enough. So we actually will have to... <laughs> That's good to know, no? I guess I'm not sure if we still see it or I guess not. So let's try to get closer. And see what happens. I'm a little bit sad we blew up a whale. That was not the idea of this game. Or at least not mine. Come on. Because normally you can switch targets with T, but we don't see any other targets at the moment. So, I guess we'll just have to... Oh! I might have just flown into a torpedo. See, this is how good I am at this game. Ooh, that looks serious. 46% hull. So they definitely knew where we were. But we didn't know where they were. So I could activate my active sonar. So we heard something there. So that's what that line is. Alright, cool. Let's go there. But be very careful of... Now there is a um, a torpedo coming on. We heard a launch at bearing 47, which is around there, because this is zero and this is 90. So what we should do is we should look up what the controls are for the decoy. Noisemaker, shift D. And see whether that would work. There we go. No, that probably only works for their sonar. But that might also be what that torpedo is using though. So then you can also make a knucklehead. If, if you really change very quickly direction, you kind of make a lot of bubbles and then things can get confused. I'm a little bit sad that we don't know where they are, but they know where we are.
Let's also reload our torpedo in the meantime. Now we're not making knuckleheads yet. I'll try to release another one of these noisemakers though, in the hope that it actually helps against these things. I think it should. At least I think in the tutorial I had something like that happening. Yeah, it seems to be going for that. Uh. No. Okay. That was absolutely terrible. <laughs> the tutorials were much easier. <laughs> well, but there's only one way to learn, I guess. Which is by dying, and dying repeatedly. That's good though, also a game shouldn't be too easy at the beginning. Well, at least we got to shoot a whale, so that was something, I guess. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to digging more into this game, because there seems to be a nice amount of depth to the game while not being completely overwhelming. So I'll definitely, well, I'll have to read once again. Oh, did I? I think I shut off the UI. Huh. In any case, yeah, so if I... What is the UI? There was a button for that. Hide HUD. L F11. No. Okay, I guess because I'm dead I can't really sh see it anymore. But yeah, so I'll leave combat. Um, and there is a very nice help file. So if I actually... Um, I could go to the unit reference, but that's not what I wanted. Let's say I just go to a single mission again. And if I press Shift F1 here, this is actually a really nice reference. And I've been reading it, but yeah, it not everything stuck, I guess. So I'll have to read it again and play more games in order to really figure out how this game works. But in any case, I hope you had fun with me shooting that whale and see you next time.